welcome to the graduation ceremony of Ascension Catholic High School. This ceremony takes place due to circumstances that prevent us from gathering as a school community. I welcome each of the 2020 Ascension Catholic graduates, their families, and friends. for the Matthew Dupree will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from our community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation and the long line of the Ascension Catholic educational tradition, for with it today they join a nearly 175-year-old network of local, national, and global alumni who are their kindred companions. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to light the world on fire with your love, grace, wisdom, mercy, and peace. Bless to their parents, grandparents, families, friends, teachers, and administrators for all the support, encouragement, learning, guidance, and examples of faith they have given to these graduates. Grace be to them, grace be to us all. And we pray this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now I would like to introduce to you our salutatorian, Samuel Meir. Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 Ascension Catholic high school graduation ceremony. On behalf of the class of 2020, we extend a special welcome to Bishop Michael Duca, Dr. Melanie Palmazano, our superintendent, Father Matthew Dupree, 
the faculty and staff at Ascension Catholic, alumni, and all of our family and friends. I know this isn't exactly what we envisioned the ceremony to be like, but like my mom always says, we're just going to have to make do. Before I begin, I would like to thank God for all the blessings and support that he has given me because none of this would have been possible without him. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my brothers, my mama, and my aunt Nene for their time and effort towards shaping me into the man that I am today. Although I'm grateful for all of my athletic coaches over the years, there's one particular coach that I can unfortunately hear in my sleep every night. Football guys, especially the offensive line, can agree that the saying, gap down backer, will forever be embedded into our brains, thanks to Coach Benny Saya. Lastly, I would like to thank each and every one of my classmates for all the love and support that you guys have given me over the years. My classmates have made my time at Ascension Catholic the best years of my life, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. As you know, we are a class of only 30 people, and I can say that we are basically one big family. As a member of the class of 2020, I can say that we are one of the most unique classes that have come through Ascension Catholic because, of course, we all have 2020 vision. On a serious note, our class has excelled in academics over the years, with the majority of us having already begun our college studies through dual enrollment. While our entire class is devoted to our academics, I can definitely say that many of us can be referred to as student athletes. Starting with football, our team reached the state championship two years in a row. So going undefeated in the regular season for our senior year was pretty much the icing on the cake. The seniors on our volleyball team went out with a bang by making it to the Pontchartrain Center for the first time in a while. The baseball team has also been pretty successful, bringing home a state championship and making it to Seoul for the past three years. I would also like to mention our boys basketball team, who made the playoffs all four years and finished with a winning record this past season. Additionally, the softball team has made it to Seoul for the past three years, with several members of the class of 2020 contributing. The girls cross country and track teams have achieved a lot over the past years with consistent high placement at multiple state meets. As you can see, the class of 2020 is no joke when it comes to being the best at what we do, whether that's academically or athletically. Yes, I know I like talking about sports, but I want to say that in Ascension Catholic sports, it wasn't always about the wins and losses and who accomplished what. It's about the bond between players and coaches that only people who play sports will ever understand. It's about the bus rides home, the parties in the locker room, and the laughs on and off the field. Nothing can beat that. I found that when you go through a lot with someone, you tend to form a special connection with them because you both had to fight against some kind of adversity. Anyone who has played sports can relate to this because bonding with their teammates is actually very common. But what isn't very common is a pandemic wiping out the rest of your senior year. And this adversity is what has brought our class so close together. Like I said before, the class of 2020 is like my family and I've never felt a bond stronger. As I was writing this speech, trying to come up with ideas to write about, I kept asking myself the same question over and over. What am I the most thankful for? Without a doubt, the first two people that come to my mind are my mom and my dad. I can't express the amount of love and support that they've given me over the past years. Whether that was coming to watch me play a travel baseball game at 8 in the morning on a Saturday, 
or watching me get an award at an academic banquet, my parents, when I tell you, did not miss a thing. I am forever grateful for the countless steak nights and small get-togethers that my parents put on for my friends and me. They made it their priority to be with me through it all. I couldn't have asked for a better household to grow up in, and I can definitely say that my parents have raised me in the best way possible. I'm so grateful for my parents, and I just want to say that I love y'all. With everything that's been said, I believe that the class of 2020 is ready to be kicked out of the nest into the real world. Ascension Catholic has shaped us into the intelligent and well-respected people that we need to be in order to have success in life. As far as the adversity that our world is going through right now, the class of 2020 is built for this. I would like to end this speech with a quote from one of my favorite movies that best describes the chaotic nature of our senior year. If you've ever seen the movie Forrest Gump, you are familiar with the saying, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Thank you and God bless. Next, we will hear from our valedictorian, Brock Acosta. Good evening. Once again, I would like to welcome everyone joining us for the 2020 Ascension Catholic High School graduation ceremony. It is an honor to be able to speak on behalf of my classmates and friends. First, I would like to start off by thanking all of the people who have helped me get to where I am today. To God, for all of the blessings and talents that he has gifted me, my mom and dad, for always pushing me to not only be the best student, but also the best person I could possibly be. My sister, Bailey, for being the reason behind all of my tardies freshman and sophomore year. And of course, for being the most supportive sister and role model I could ask for. My Aunt Megan, because God knows I wouldn't have been able to make it through high school without her. My godfather, Tate, for treating me like his own son. My grandparents, for all of the love and support that they have given me over the years. And finally, my classmates, for making these past 14 years at Ascension Catholic the best years of my life. Ascension Catholic, I am forever grateful to you for introducing me to these amazing people that I am able to call my classmates. Over the course of 14 years, we have made so many memories, both good and bad, that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Like the times when the firemen would spray us with their hose after celebrating a field day victory, or when the baseball team won the state championship against our rivals, St. John, and the entire school was there supporting us. I don't think any of us will forget the time when we celebrated Peter's fake birthday on senior retreat, when Ryan got hit in the head with a rock, or when Emily somehow managed to get dog mess on her calf and book sack while walking into school one morning. We definitely won't forget when Miss Carol tripped over a wire in class and scared us all to death. Along with the countless memories that Ascension Catholic has given us, many life lessons were learned. To our teachers and coaches, you have taught us many of these valuable lessons that we will carry with us in the future. You have helped to shape us into the young men and women that we are today. Thank you for all of the countless hours and hard work that you have put into each one of us. I know that each and every one of my classmates will make you proud in the future. Honorclassmen, take advantage of your remaining years with your classmates. I promise you that these years at Ascension Catholic will be the best years of your life. To the juniors, next year there will be many lasts. Last first day, last homecoming week, last games, last prom, 
Take advantage of every last moment next year because you will never know when it will all be over. Our senior year was cut short and I know our class would do anything to get some of those last moments back. But everything happens for a reason and I believe that our situation has helped us to reflect back on our high school memories and appreciate them even more. To my classmates, we did it. After 14 long years, we are finally able to call ourselves Ascension Catholic alumni. Even though our senior year was cut short, the things that we were able to achieve are nothing short of admirable. The class of 2020 has left a huge mark on Ascension Catholic and will be remembered for many years to come. As a class, we not only excelled academically, but we were able to accomplish seven state championships and five state runner-ups. This is truly something to be proud of. So, as it is time to say goodbye to the school that has been a part of us for so long, I ask all of you to focus on the good memories that we made while at Ascension Catholic. With this in mind, it is now time for us to move on. This is the beginning of a new chapter in our lives, and I am excited to see where it takes all of us. Even though we may be going our separate ways, we will always keep the friendships that we made at Ascension Catholic close to our hearts. I encourage all of you to take everything that you have learned while being a Bulldog and be the best that you can be. And remember, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. Thank you. I now introduce Peyton Hatcher, our valedictorian. Good afternoon. Welcome again to our graduation ceremony. I would like to start by thanking a couple of people for helping me get where I am today. First, I would like to thank God because without him, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. I would also like to thank my teachers. Miss Karen, you made my math classes fun and bearable, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do math in college without you. I also want to thank all of my past teachers and faculty as well because you have taught me so many lessons and helped to create the person I am today. Lastly, I want to thank my family especially my mom and my dad, for pushing me to be the best I could be, and my grandparents for supporting me in everything that I do. I really struggled to try, the, to, try to find the words to say in my speech. So instead of Googling how to write a speech, I sat down, listened to Oceans by Hillsong United, and prayed. I didn't need the internet to help me write this speech. I just needed God. Ascension Catholic has made my faith so much stronger, and I have become closer to God than ever. I am so thankful for that because we need him more than ever now. We won't be praying before every class or going to church anymore. We will have to do it on our own. I think we are all more than ready to go out into the big world of college and continue our faith as well. COVID-19 has come into our lives and taken so much from us as seniors. We are unable to go to our senior prom and we will never know who our prom king and queen will be. We aren't able to walk down the church aisle one last time as a class. We aren't able to celebrate our graduation as a class and I know we were all looking forward to that. Senior year was supposed to be different, the best days of our lives, and it ended unexpectedly and too soon. On the positive side, we won't be leaving empty handed. We still have our memories from senior year. Our senior retreat was a very powerful experience. We were so vulnerable and it brought us together in the best way. We cried and cried and most of us woke up the next morning with puffy eyes. The genuine smiles and unforgettable laughs will never be forgotten. Like the day we picked our class song, and all the girls played it in their cars and cried. 
on the time or the time in primary school when we were playing baseball with Miss D and she specifically said don't let go of the bat when swinging but I obviously didn't listen just ask Connor because I think he is still scarred from the bat hitting his face our class has been through a lot together but we never gave up we never stopped working hard in school the athletes in our class never stopped working hard at practices we learned how to overcome our problems and rely on the people that cared for us when we needed help. Without each other, we could not have done it. I know for a fact without Katie Pizzolatto, I would still be struggling to write an essay for Professor Hellinger. Our class just loved her. We have grown closer through all the pain and struggles along the way. We never left anyone behind. Our class proved that during senior retreat, when I was the only one that was too scared to do the trust fall, because I have trust issues, our class cheered me on and promised me that they would catch me, and they did. One of my favorite poets, Ralph Waldo Emerson, once said, do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. We are starting a new journey in our lives. The beginning is now. We must start our path to the future. We are the only ones that can choose where, our, where we will go in life. I know each and every person in my class will do great things. Nick will continue to chase his football career dreams, and Ashlyn Leonard will be a celebrity singer. I'm calling it now. Those are just two people, but I am certain that we will all make a positive impact on the people around us. We must never give up and always stay focused. College has many temptations, but I trust we will make the right decisions. When a good opportunity arises, take it and don't look back, but also never forget the people that helped you grow along the way. Most of us have been together for 13 years now. I am an only child, and I think of my class as my siblings because we grew up together. We may argue like brothers and sisters, but I don't know what I'm going to do without all of you. I know this is not a goodbye, but just a pause in our time together. Who knows what the future holds for us? It could very well be the last time we see one another. So I ask that we take a deep breath and really think about this last moment we have together. The last memory the class of 2020 will make as a whole. I pray that even though we are going our separate ways, we will always be able to find our way back home. As Scotty McCreary wrote, this is it, this is now, this is all we've been talking about. Take it in, this moment we won't forget. This is it, class of 2020, signing out one last time. Finally, I welcome Katie Pizzolatto for her valedictorian address. I am truly honored to be one of the representatives of the class of 2020. Special congratulations to Brock, Peyton, Sam, and the rest of the class. Before getting to the emotional part, I would like to thank the people who have helped me throughout my years at Ascension Catholic. God for protecting and watching over the class, Mom, Dad, Sarah, and Molly for always bringing fun and joy into my life. My grandparents for setting a perfect example of what love is and always slipping me the money that my parents would not accept. To the rest of my family, I'm so blessed to be part of such a big, loving, and fun family. All of my past teachers and coaches for pushing me to do my best. For my teammates who always made the sports that I love super fun and unforgettable. My friends for always being there for me and being happy for my success, especially my best friend, Emily Beck. And finally, my class for making the past four years fun and unforgettable. Our last day of high school felt like any other day. I think that's because we had no clue that March 13th would be our last day in school together. Although this situation was very tough for us to handle, I believe that everything happens for a reason. While it is sad that we didn't get to spend our last month together and many things ended too quickly, 
This worldwide crisis experience will come back to help us as we enter the real world. Being able to overcome something like this at one of the most vulnerable times of our lives has prepared us for any challenges we may face in the future. The strength and perseverance we have gained will be used to our advantage throughout our lives. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank everyone who has kept my class in their prayers and those who have helped us to make the most out of a tough situation. Although it didn't go as planned, I think it's safe to say that the tassel was worth the hassle. To my class, I am so incredibly lucky to be a part of such a special group that it makes it so difficult to say goodbye. Then I realized we aren't really saying goodbye. We are just saying see you later, or at least after the stay at home order is lifted. In order to focus on the positives, I wish to mention a few of the special memories we will always share. The Peter extravaganza on senior retreat, going to the dome twice, both Ashlands broke Miss Christina's window in sixth grade, and Owen broke the window by Coach Janelle's room junior year. Miss Carol asking people to step outside to talk behind the door, friends giving and friends miss, beta living li literature when Haley was so late on one part of the dance, the St. John games which we always won, decorating for prom, rolling on homecoming week at 3 a.m., the paint parties, practicing for the skit, Emily's excitement on chicken parmesan day, class hugs, laughing at each other after failing calculus or physics tests, it's okay, Ashlyn, and most recently, riding bikes around town just to see each other. And just to let everyone know, it is not easy pedaling up the levee. At Ascension Catholic, we have learned many valuable and memorable things. I will never forget the quadratic formula thanks to Ms. Karen's song she made us sing for a few weeks. My class finally perfected how to stall and take up time in Coach John's class by extending the conversations of the question of the day, the story of the day, and the joke of the day. I most certainly learned not to ask Coach Bolot, can I go to the bathroom? Because every time he would answer with, I don't know, can you? Ascension Catholic has also given us tons of opportunities to grow in our faith together, especially on senior retreat. It was one of the coolest and most eye-opening experiences of my life, and I am so grateful that my class was able to experience it together. Praising God in unity with my class is a memory that all of us will never forget. We learned and had a firsthand experience that prayer with others is much stronger than prayer by ourselves. Shout out to Miss Carol for letting us sing the Chaplet of Divine Mercy at the top of our lungs on the days we were a little bit too excited. As hard as it is to say goodbye to Ascension Catholic, the time has come to move on and see all that this life has to offer. I will forever keep the lessons I learned and the people I met at Ascension Catholic close to my heart. To the underclassmen, especially the juniors, I have some advice to offer. Enjoy every second of high school and soak up the memories you make with your class. Go to parties, homecomings, proms with all of your friends. Go to every sports practice and game like it's your last, because you never know. Enjoy those walks up and down the alley with your friends, and never forget your lunch card on Muffin Day at breakfast. Finally, we are grateful for having been part of the Ascension Catholic family. And now as we say farewell, the words of a wise but anonymous person express my thoughts. Our lives are before us, our paths are behind us, but our memories are forever with us.
Brock Michael Acosta, valedictorian. Peyton Marie Hatcher, valedictorian. Katie Ann Pizzolatto, valedictorian. Samuel Uso Mir, salutatorian. Dorian Cantrell Barber. Emily Marie Beck. Chaz Anthony Brown. Peter Charles LaFour Canton. Jenna Lynn Como. Haley Catherine Dupree. Landon Nicholas Falcon. Demontre Kiwan Harry Jr. Nicholas Joshua Hilliard. Garrison David Landry. Alexia Elaine Leonard. Ashlyn Elise Leonard Lexi Lee Milano Gary Paul Miet the Third Rodnika Alora Brianna Mitchell Ashlyn Elaine Montero Catherine Elise Perilou Allison Rome Haley Renee Rome Connor Michael Shally Eric Anthony Simon Jr. Ryan Anthony Stibe. Sophie Layton Sternfels. Angel Claire Terrio Owen Nicholas Terrio
Jai Jermaine Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. As I sat down to write this year's graduate address, something I've done every year for many years now, I suddenly felt as though I was writing it for the very first time. This group of 30 graduating tonight have accomplished so much. The diplomas they'll receive represent years of commitment and achievement and mark a significant milestone in their lives. Many joining us tonight can testify to their incredible academic, athletic, and apostolic achievements. But this class will be remembered for so much more. Seniors, you've been forced to face extremely tough circumstances, life lessons that up until now may have only been a running theme in the stories your grandparents told are the ones read about in your religion or history books. Tales of adversity and resilience, stories of strength and faith. This part of life can't be taught inside of a classroom, and there's simply no way to prepare. The part of life when your constants are challenged, as you realize for the very first time, you're not in control. The only thing you're left with is a choice. How will you respond? Graduates, after walking through the last nine weeks with you, it is very evident of how you've chosen to respond. The Ascension Catholic Class of 2020 will be remembered for their strength, grace, and resilience in the face of adversity. Even after mandates were placed to continue your education through remote learning with no cumulative final exams, I feel you've grown and learned so much more than I could have ever hoped for or imagined. No doubt your experiences and successes in life will only continue, except your victories will now seem so much sweeter. Your faith in God will be so much stronger, for you've learned to let go of the fallacious control you've once had. You've learned the preciousness of a moment, so I'm confident you won't take future ones for granted. You become so much more than your grade point averages and athletic performances. So I challenge you, don't waste these precious lessons. Set your goals high and strive to develop your skills and potential. But remember the fragility of life and use your gifts to make a difference in the lives of others. God has a plan for each one of you. Listen and be faithful to him. Allow him to guide you as you continue to meet the challenges that lie ahead. Remember those who nurtured you here, your teachers and educational family. Keep your memories and hold them dear as you look back on these high school years. Know that you're always welcomed home to return and visit. Some of you will perhaps return as faculty, parents, clergy, or religious. Continue the tradition of Ascension Catholic as generous alumni, always reaching out to others in need. Pray for each other, support each other, and be kind to each other, knowing that everyone is facing their own battles. I love you, and I am extremely proud of the young men and women that you have become. Certainly the class of 2020 
will be greatly remembered and deeply missed. And one day, many, many years from now, you will tell your grandchildren a story, a story of strength, perseverance, and hope. And no doubt, it will have a beautiful ending.
a celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We gon' celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Can we cut the ice cream?